Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your March 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see what's good that's coming towards you guys. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are um, uh, general uh, uh, collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post and when I go live. Uh, also, if you guys uh, are interested in following me on my TikTok, um, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, um, if you guys don't know, I am doing a giveaway for a free 30 minute personal reading with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in that giveaway, I did post uh, the details in the community tab of um, you know how to enter the giveaway, okay? So I will announce the winner on March okay on the community tab so make sure that you do have the alerts turned on you're you are subscribed so uh tell me about scorpio scorpio what's good that's coming in for scorpio what's good that's coming in for scorpio for uh march 2024 for scorpio for scorpio ace of swords here and a fool wow Scorpio, you're experiencing a major breakthrough here. I feel like you're clear about your clear and decisive about the path that you want to go on here. I do feel like you you guys are just ready for something new, ready for new experiences, ready to take some big risk in life, ready to take, take take some huge leaps here. Okay, so I feel like you're definitely in this energy of really stepping out of your comfort zone here and just doing something completely different from what you've done in the past. You know, some Scorpios are known to be, you know, a bit of creature, like, uh, you know, creature of habit, you know? So I feel like you're definitely stepping out of that, all right? So I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, I do feel like there are big changes that are coming into your life at this time here, you know, positive changes here, okay? You know, I, I feel like you might be experiencing a bit of a polarity shift here from, you know, the negative side of karma here to the positive side of karma here. So, you know, I do feel like things are perhaps turning in your favor here. You're definitely stepping into this very fiery Aries energy here. You know, just kind of going for it, just doing it here, okay? And not second guessing this, you know, or second guessing anything and really just enjoying the experience, enjoying the process here, okay? Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have two of swords, okay? And judgment, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like what's happening is I feel like you're making the biggest change of your life here. This change is allowing you to really live your life in the moment here and really enjoy it here. You know, and you feel like this is a change where you're not going back on it. That's what the judgment card is. Sometimes it's about making change, making a decision, and not going back on that decision here. I mean, obviously there is a, like you know a little bit of worry, you know, feeling a bit scared here, but I just feel like you're just going for it. Yeah, you guys are definitely stepping into this fiery energy. Uh, perhaps you guys have a lot of fire energy in your chart. You know, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Um, so let's see what else we have here. Ace of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, the Fool. And the high priestess here okay very interesting i mean there could be a new beginning that's starting here with like someone that's coming into your life i mean this could be someone in business this could be someone in romance here but whoever this is i feel like you know that this person's coming in you know that this is a solid individual you know that this person has their life together here okay it's almost like maybe you had a vision or that you had a dream about this or that you meditated on this and you manifested this and poof, poof, this person's here, okay? So um, 
You know, I feel like you might be meeting this person pretty soon, you guys. Uh, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces here. You could be meeting this person at work. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, yeah. Something here is about to approach you here. The Queen of Wands, yeah, okay. There's a new relationship that's coming into your life. Um, I feel like you're going through some major changes, major shifts. I feel like nothing is ever going to be the same again. I feel like everything is just onward and upward here for you guys. Okay. Page of cups here and the two of cups here. Um, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, three of cups and the two of swords. Judgment and the four. Wow. Um, get ready, Scorpio. Something amazing is coming in for you. There's a beautiful relationship that's coming in for you where I feel like this is a very spiritual connection. I do feel like this is a harmonious, stable connection here, okay? The universe is definitely sending in your blessings here when it comes to romance, okay? So let's see what else we have here. What else does Scorpio need to know? Look out for work on for uh, March 2024 for Scorpio. Four cups here in the chariot, cancer energy here. You're going to feel like things are moving forward here. If you've been feeling stuck here, you know, been feeling sad, you know, I feel like all that energy is being moved here, you know? So, you know, I do feel like there's a sense of letting go, okay? There's a sense of finding, finding balance here. There's a sense of just really just stepping into your true authentic self and just experiencing new things in life. You know, perhaps you, get, you guys are, you know, definitely trying to open yourselves up more to people here and maybe you know i wouldn't say completely trust somebody but i feel like you're opening yourself up to get to know somebody here you know because there is someone here that's coming in for you justice card libra energy here with the three of swords here and the tower here aries scorpio energy i feel like you guys have been hurt many times in the past here okay and i do feel like a lot of the pain that you've experienced here, I do feel like a lot of that is being healed or a lot of that is being moved here. So, you know, I feel like you've learned a lot from those prior experiences to make those changes here so that you don't go through what you go went through in the past here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy here in the tower, three of swords here and the six of cups, okay? So one of the good things here is that a lot of you guys have really healed from the past here. You know, because I do feel like you're stepping into this new relationship in a way I feel like you're just allowing things to flow here. You know, I feel like, you know, maybe there's a little bit of worry, but I feel like you guys are not too worried here because uh, you're not allowing your past to stop you from experiencing your blessings that are coming into your life at this time here, such as the soulmate here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy and the Six of Cups here. I mean, this could be an indication that this is a past life soulmate connection. Uh, perhaps, you know, maybe uh, there are some karmic debts that you guys have to pay off here together, but I actually see you guys working together, working in tandem here to clear out these karmic debts here, okay? Because I do feel like both of you guys are very, very, very spiritual here. This, um, uh, the Justice card here and the Five of Swords, we have the Four of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles. You know, one of the things that with the Five of Swords here, you know, I feel like this person, you know, is a very generous individual here where I feel like this person would put your own needs before their own. And they feel like you might do the same thing for this person here. There is equal reciprocity here between you and this person here. So this is a really beautiful connection here. Uh, four plus six, four pentacles, six, of, uh, six pentacles equals 10 pentacles here. Yeah, so there's a, beautiful relationship that's blossoming here for you guys okay there's a lot of releasing here there's a lot of healing here between you guys uh, there's a lot of forward movement here okay i do feel like when you guys do meet each other here i do feel like it will trigger a lot of past issues here but i feel like i see i actually see you guys working through it here okay together okay so i feel like that's a beautiful thing worth it and that's a good thing that's uh, coming in or that's happening for you guys all right the five of pentacles here and the ten of wands okay so um scorpio i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye